What's up everybody, welcome back to Casual Lad. Military Tycoon had dropped the Halloween update. Well, the first part of it. You need to collect pumpkins to earn points for the demolisher. Each pumpkin is worth 10,000 points and you need 530,000 points. So you need 53 pumpkins. But there are only 20 pumpkins on the map. The difference this time round is that the pumpkins do respawn so you can keep collecting it. So it's more like a pumpkin hunt than a scavenger hunt. Ignore the PvP, just collect the pumpkins. Anyway, let me show you 17 locations of the pumpkins. Since they're respawnable, you don't really need to know all the locations. We will start here as usual from the mountain and we will go in an S fashion. There is a small island behind the mountain and there is a pumpkin there but I didn't record it. The mountain bunker has one. The pumpkins are really huge with contrasting colors, so it's really easy to see. The fortress at the front of the mountain has one too. I captured it beforehand so you can see the pumpkin. You can see a pumpkin on the rock arch, but we are gonna skip that for now. Go to the rock behind the rock arch. Go to the rock arch. One of the towers of the forest fortress has one. Go to the city center. Drop down here. There is one here. This is also a sewer opening. Let me show you. The bank has three pumpkins. There is one in front of the bank, one right outside the entrance of the bank, one on the roof of the bank. Another pumpkin in front of the fortress near the mountain. Let me zoom out and show you. There is one in the fortress near the mountain. There is a bridge at the side and there is one pumpkin on each side of the bridge. A pumpkin under the bridge. Go to the lighthouse. There are three campsites. There is a pumpkin at the middle campsite. I revisited the locations and you can see that the pumpkins respawn. Okay, so I got 530,000 points. Let's take a look at the demolisher. Impressive damage but really poor health and speed. Speed is only 45. Pure stats upgrades. 
Now you probably want to level up and upgrade it since the car is featured for next week's event. This car kinda reminds me of the car in the Mall of Left 4 Dead 2. Let's spawn it. It's not extremely fast, but it doesn't feel sluggish either. Turning is pretty sharp. The demolisher doesn't have a secondary weapon. It's just a primary weapon. Explosive machine cannons. Okay, the spikes are just for decorative purpose. I just realized that you cannot aim with the weapon. It will just fire straight ahead. So it is extremely difficult to aim. Oh, it does 20 to 25% of the total health on a player with skull armor. Let's test the weapon on a leopard tank. I would say the damage is decent. One full magazine and it can almost destroy a leopard tank. Pretty weak armor. It can handle 11 heated knife slashes. Not sure why people like to measure armor with heated knife slashes. The really bad thing about the demolisher is the inability to aim. That makes it very less useful. Damage is really satisfactory, but you will need this demolisher for next week's zombie invasion. Apparently this car gets buffed, and I suppose it will be much easier using this car. However, I'm not sure how useful it actually will be considering that it cannot aim. So that's it for today's video. Please give a thumbs up if this video had helped you, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Remember to turn on that notification bell too. Bye!